The TC Electronic Infinite Sample Sustainer has become a staple creative tool amongst guitarists today. They've brought out a new mini version of the same pedal and we're going to see how it stacks up against its older and bigger brother. Hi, I'm Chris. We're back in the Gear for Music studio today. Uh, as we know, TC Electronic love to make mini versions of their most iconic pedals out there, and the Infinite Sample Sustainer is no exception. Uh, we're going to be seeing what sacrifices and what gains are made for making a mini version of this pedal, but straight away we're going to look at what made the Infinite Sample Sustainer so great. If you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, let's get into it. So the original Infinite pedal allows you to capture and sustain a moment in musical time, quite similar to that of a Polaroid camera picture, but for sound. Now that's a really, really useful tool for a guitarist like myself, because it allows you to almost accompany yourself and add a load of different texture and a new dimension to your playing. Now for those who aren't familiar with how to use the pedal itself, it's as simple as playing in a note or a selection of notes or a chord and capturing it via the stompbox switch. You can change the stompbox switch to being latching or momentary depending on your needs. Uh, it also has seven different modes, four of which allow you to stack a number of layers from one to infinity. Uh, it has three different tone print slots as well. Now those three tone print slots allow you to draw upon the power of TC Electronics tone print app. Now that gives you uh, an access to a plethora of different effects that they already have within their lineup and allows you to save artist presets as well. Now, aesthetically speaking, both pedals are very, very similar, but they have a few key differences. The first being, quite obviously, it has a smaller form factor. Um, the second being, it doesn't have as many knobs as the first one. It only has three knobs, and it doesn't feature the same dip switches on the front of its big brother. Now, aside from not having the independent effects loop that the large one has, the functionality of the small one is essentially the same, but you just do things in a slightly different way.
Now, as we mentioned before, the mini version has exactly the same functionality as the big pedal, but how would I be able to access that functionality if I have a reduced amount of controls? Now, straight away out of the box, it's set to being able to capture one layer at a time. It has the reverb engaged and the switch is set to latching. Now, if I wanted to change that, I would be able to uh, hold the switch down upon startup and it would change from latching to momentary. If I wanted to access some of the other functionality that the pedal has, I would simply connect it to my mobile device on my computer and I can change any aspect of the pedal that I want via the Tone Print app and save it directly to the pedal itself. Now, one of the biggest benefits to having one of these TC Electronic mini pedals is the fact that it's got a very small form factor. So if you've already got a limited amount of space or you want to free up some space on your pedal board to add some more pedals to that pedal board, it's going to fit right in. And for people who are already using these TC Electronic mini pedals, this app-based functionality is going to be something that's going to fit right into the way that they work. So overall, in terms of sound quality, they may as well be exactly the same pedal. And if you're a huge fan of the TC Electronic Infinite Sample Sustainer, I'm sure that this mini version is definitely worth a consideration. It offers the same functionality and features, and with the help of the Tone Print app, you can create as many unique and amazing sounds as its big brother, and you'll also save a little bit of money. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with any new releases. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to pop one down in the comments section below. Uh, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching.